Games Workshop reveals their 20 best Warhammer miniatures ever. Spiking bits. Games Workshop has revealed the 20 best miniatures since 1983 for their festive Warhammer 40 year anniversary. This year marks a huge anniversary for Warhammer and it's just awesome to see some models from way back in the day and how they have evolved. To start, they're going way back to models that more or less were the basis for a ton of their minis moving forward. Over the years, Games Workshop has carved out a, a remarkable legacy in the world of miniature gaming. Renowned for their meticulous craftsmanship and intricate designs, Games Workshop miniatures have captured the hearts and imaginations of hobbyists worldwide. With attention to detail and dynamic poses, Games Workshop has consistently raised the bar, creating stunning visual representations of fantastical worlds. The popularity of these miniatures stems from the immersive experience they provide, allowing players to bring their favorite characters and armies to life on the tabletop. Whether collecting, painting, or engaging in strategic battles, Games Workshop miniatures continue to inspire and captivate hobbyists, fueling a passionate community of gamers and enthusiasts. Number 20. There isn't a bigger and meaner orc out there. This model has always been iconic and the old design still holds up. Obviously the new model is amazing. It's just so intimidating on the battlefield. Number 19. This model is just so cool as it comprises three of the most famous characters in Games Workshop's history. We can only imagine the amount of drinking these three can do together. Obviously, the dwarf models over the years have really gone some crazy routes, and Games Workshop pretty regularly puts out cool commemorative minis for them. Number 18, Space Marine Standard Bearer. It's always been awesome to show off your chapter pride with uh, Standard Bearer, and this model really was awesome. The standard bearer has continued to grow along with the space marines and they are just so iconic on the tabletop. No wonder they are one of the best games workshop Warhammer miniatures of the last 40 years. Number 17. Scaven have always had a special place in the old world of Warhammer fantasy and were at the forefront of the popular Vermintide video game. Thus their place in the lexicon of popularity has been sealed for all time when it comes to both Age of Sagmar and Warhammer fantasy lore. Number 16, Bloodthirster. If you played Chaos, you wanted this model. It towered over so many things on the battlefield and this model stayed in the game for a long time. You can clearly see the inspiration from the older models, but they have really evolved and just look amazing now. Number 15, this model is still cool to this day as it just looks so iconic and orky. Orcs have obviously come a long way, but it's always cool to see where the green boys came from. Number 14, Ragnar Blackmane. Ragnar is basically the chosen one of the Space Wolves and one of the first to get the update to Primaris as well. The new plastic model keeps the same style as the old design, but with a great new dynamic pose. Number 13, the Green Knight. Honestly, when we got into Warhammer, this model captured our imaginations. It was nearly impossible to look at this and not just be in awe with Warhammer Old World on the comeback trail. And Britannians confirmed, we'll get to see another evolution of these incredible models. Number 12, Space Marine Dreadnought. It's hard to not love this dread. It's basically existed for a long time with only minor changes, so you know, it has to be good. These are actually the first dreadnoughts, but at least they showed them some love as well. The Redemptors are a remarkable evolution of the original dreadnought, and it seems Games Workshop is going more and more in this direction. Number 11, Viper Jet Bike. As one of the very first models to get a plastic kit in the early 1990s, the Viper hasn't changed much since then, However, this vehicle has set the standard for all the other jet style models for the Elder that have been produced since and doesn't look out of place next to them despite being 30 years old. Number 10, Warlord Titan. This was such an iconic mini and even to this day, there are minis designed by Games Workshop to this day that are very reminiscent of this. 
It goes without saying that Titans have really grown over the years and now there are just some insane engines out there that are some of the best games Workshop miniatures produced for Warhammer 40k. Number 9, Rhino. Probably one of the best selling models of all time for Games Workshop. The Rhino kit started out small in 1988 but had a big heart. Updated in the early 2000s, the Mars pattern Rhino became the standard for many other plastic space marine kits to this day, including most of the Horus Heresy line after 2022. Number 8, Gotrek and Felix. These two have been through so many adventures, so it was always cool to play with them on the tabletop. Even though Felix isn't around anymore, the Fire Slayer line has some pretty wild minis and the new Gotrek is just amazing. Number seven, Imperial Space Marine. Getting 30 Marines on a sprue must have been awesome. Plus, these minis are just so iconic now and really started a lot. Just look at this sweet old sprue with so much empty space. The sprue designs have definitely come a long way. Obviously, the Space Marines have become Games Workshop's main line of minis, so they have really evolved from this kit. Number six, Imperial Dragon. What's cooler than dragons in fantasy? Not much. This old dragon is just so cool. There have been bunches of dragons since this, but it's really awesome to see where they came from. Number five, Chaos Renegade. Oh, the model that started it all for Chaos. He has the plasma gun built into his arm, so, you know, he's fully corrupted by chaos, and it's just such a cool old model. Number four, Grom the Paunch. This model was just so awesome in its heyday, and if you saw this when it first came out, you had no choice but to love it. Obviously, chariots have come quite a long way, and even though we don't have Grom anymore, we at least have Wolf Riders. Number three, Skeleton Horde, who doesn't love skeletons. This old model is so iconic and just really launched a long line of amazing undead. Obviously they have evolved quite a bit over the years, but you can really see where they come from. Number two, the first Space Marine. It's pretty awesome to see this first Space Marine. While power armor wasn't as evolved, it's just a really cool minute. Plus, you know, this guy's seen countless battles. It's always good to see a beaky marine, and now you know why they have ones with the beaky style helmet. Overall, this model was the first of some of the best games Workshop miniatures produced for Warhammer 40k. Number one, Slambo. This model is so iconic and still looks cool today. If this doesn't bring back the nostalgia, we just don't know what will. You can see the inspiration this gave to the styling of future models for both Warhammer Fantasy and Age of Sigmar, just cool to see it compared to the newer minis. What do you think are the best games Workshop Warhammer miniatures of the last 40 years? Let us know in the comments on our Facebook hobby group or our new Discord server, and make sure you enter the latest monthly giveaway for free today.